positively, without a doubt, a place in Hollywood for a person who cares about people. Amen. And I thank you, Dick, for being a friend. I called him about my mom, who was, who was dying from a very rare, rare uh, cancer. Only six people had it, oh. ever. And he recommended her to go south of the border to Mexico, where they're treating stuff like that. Yeah. It took him five minutes to call me back. Hmm. You know, the one thing that I learned through my family is that love has no color. So let's have a party while we're still here. Thank you. Era uh, and encouraged the kind of activism that changed American society for the better. And the entire country is indebted to you, Mr. Gregory, from now on and forever. Thank you so much. You have made an indelible mark on our culture in so many ways. With your brilliant mind and fearlessness, you've not only entertained us, but have helped build a better, wiser, freer, more enlightened society. In every way, you are truly deserving of this recognition on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Congratulations. May God bless you and your entire family on this wonderful, wonderful occasion. Thank you. That we all made it here safely today. Well, yes, sir. And I pray that your return and my return will be the same. Now, there are some white folks sitting out here, so I'm going to let you know before, I will be saying something about you. But you can believe one thing, I will not be talking about you. See, I've advocated for a long time, white ain't a color, it's an attitude. That's right, that's right. And if you don't have trillions of bucks, you can't have the attitude. You're right. Right. When black folks know, I say it all the time, whenever I took over this country, the first thing I do with black folks is make y'all apologize to white folks because y'all mad at the wrong white folks. <laughs> the, the white folks y'all mad at couldn't help you if they liked you. <laughs> and so again, yes, he, did. he had $4 billion in his personal checking account. I mean, that check account you got, he had $4 billion. <laughs> And he couldn't make 58. I got a cousin at home in St. Louis, Jabbo Jones. Can't read, can't write, cuss everybody out, never had no money. He's 101. Oh, Steve could have called him. And so again, I come back to say thank you. Thank you. Jabbo Jones. Thank you, Ed. Arden, Bill Sanders, and all of my friends. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. of my friends. Yeah. And so as I leave you, let me. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the freshest of them all? Now that we got that settled, boy, your mouth for more. Out the ghetto, but I still keep it corner store. Ready for the world when I walk out the door. When I was younger, I wanted to be much older. Just a Charlie Brown nigga that wanted to be a Schroeder. Just a G.I. Joe soldier that wanted to be a Cobra. Man, I could have sold dope. Music kept me from crossing over to the dark side. But I couldn't control my anger. I was so hyper-emotional because I was raised by strangers. Man, I wish I had my daddy to warn me of all the danger. Now it's boy meets world and not every girl is Topanga. Yes! Love, name, pain, a one of many. Dick attributes his, the launch of his career to Hugh Hefner, who watched him perform at the Herman Roberts Show Bar. Hugh hired Dick to work at the Chicago Playboy Club, and he got a start. All right. By 1962, Dick had become a nationally known headline performer, selling out nightclubs, making numerous national...